сколько погибших спят спокойным сном это погибшие российские солдаты в Украине это Белгород И мобилизованные, и взрослые ребята и здесь похоронены, и молодые, ну, военный вертолет летит. Все серьезно. Следом еще один полетел. Ребята, все очень серьезно. Там тоже вот флаги. Сколько ребят тут погибло? Russia has used fighter jets to shoot down Ukrainian drones targeting the country's territory. Russia's on-duty air defense systems destroyed three Ukrainian UAVs over the territory of northeastern Yaroslavl region, 2,420 kilometers from the Ukrainian territory. Russian Defense Ministry reported on Thursday. One of the UAVs was destroyed over the territory of the Vladimir region in the east, the ministry said. Ukrainian telegram channels reported that Russian air defense is being used to strike the Ukrainian drones. The footage circulated on social media shows Russian fighter jets attempting to strike Ukrainian drones. Mikhail Yevryev, the governor of Yaroslavl, said on telegram there were no injuries and no damage from the falling drone debris. For several months now, Ukraine has been ramping up its far-reaching drone attacks on Russian regions. Belgorod, which borders Ukraine's Kharkiv region and is 600 kilometers from Vladimir, is among the most frequently attacked Russian regions. Since the start of year, Ukraine has launched drone attacks over a dozen Russian oil refineries and oil depots, which has also involved attacks on major steel plants. In turn, Kremlin has been targeting Ukraine's oil refineries and other energy infrastructure across the country, leaving millions of Ukrainians without heating. Argentina and France may transfer Super Etendard aircraft to Ukraine. Argentina is actively discussing with France the transfer of Super Etendard attack aircraft to Ukraine. Currently, these aircraft are inoperable due to an embargo imposed by the United Kingdom, according to Infobay. The discussion involves sending five Super Etendard combat aircraft, which have been decommissioned due to the embargo imposed by the UK against Argentina following the Falklands War. France's involvement is crucial to overcoming this geopolitical obstacle, and Chancellor Diana Mondino and Defence Minister Louis Petri have been working for weeks to advance this secretive move, which also involves the participation of the United States and NATO, the Infobay states. The five fighters are stored at the Espora Air Base in Puerto Belgrano because they require cartridges that enable the ejection seats in case of an emergency. Argentina does not have access to these cartridges due to the British embargo and since the planes arrived in Argentina, they have never been able to be used. It is expected that France will repair them and transfer them to Ukraine. The Super Etendard is a French supersonic carrier-based attack aircraft. It was developed based on the Etendard IVM aircraft and made its first flight on October the 28th, 1974. A total of 85 aircraft were built. It was exported to Argentina and a few were briefly operated by the Iraqi Air Force. The aircraft gained significant popularity during the Falklands War. In the French Navy, these aircraft are being retired and are planned to be completely replaced by Dassault Rafale multi-role fighters by 2015. 
The Falklands or Malvinas War of 1982 was a conflict between the United Kingdom and Argentina over control of the Falkland Islands. Neither Argentina nor the United Kingdom formally declared war on each other. From both perspectives, the military actions were seen as a restoration of control over their rightful territory. The war ended in a decisive victory for the United Kingdom, which continues to control the islands to this day.